Hey guys, so today we're gonna be um, giving you a little bit of a freshman advice. Um, we're gonna try our best. We just thought it would be fun to kind of reflect on our past year. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I am majoring in public health and then I'm double minoring in political science and Spanish. Psychology. Okay. So I came in here majoring in marketing because I had no idea what I wanted to do and I thought it was pretty broad and I could do whatever I wanted with it. Um, and then I realized that the classes I have to take for it are not my speed at all. So I switched to um, majoring in advertising which is under communications and I'm minoring in photography. I'm a comm advertising major with a minor in fashion merchandising. I'm between majors. Computer science, in between computer science and exercise science. I would probably have to say my favorite memory of freshman year was going on spring break with all of the girls in my pledge class. It really gave me the opportunity to get close with them and now they're some of my closest friends. Spring break was definitely my favorite. I was friends with everyone, but not like super close. And then spring break really just like brought everyone so close together. And now I'm just gonna be so sad to leave them. <laughs> so I mean, this past semester with Papa Delta, that was really fun. Going to the lake for my birthday and just getting to spend time with all my friends and be time. stupid and be fun and go to Asheville. Playing hide and seek in the lid, and I hid under what did they think? Of the I hid under like the carts where you like put the books on it and y'all couldn't find me for so long, that was nice. <laughs> I would say, not never say no, but limit your no's. You know, like live life in the moment, take every opportunity you can, because if I wouldn't have taken some of the most random opportunities, I wouldn't have gotten to meet or do some of the things that I have, and I'm really grateful for that. FOMO is a really big thing that people always talk about in college, and I guess in high school, um, fear of missing out. If you guys don't know what that means. <laughs> it's okay to miss going out one night or miss going to a party or if you can't make it to lunch, like that's okay. Like you shouldn't feel like you have to go to every single thing. And there are people that like to go to everything, but like that's okay if you need to miss something to take time for yourself. Because that's one thing I definitely learned is you need to make time for yourself and to take care of yourself. Be spontaneous. Go on adventures. Don't say no to things that you can do. Find your people because you're not going to be as happy, and you're going to be more motivated and successful when you find your friends and like have people to, like around you to motivate you and like like just be yourself and be confident. Because like when you're by yourself and like lonely, like you're not going to be as happy here, especially in Boone because it's cold and gross and morale is low. <laughs> so you got to find your people. Put yourself okay, not in like uncomfortable situations, but kind of because that's I feel like where you grow the most and like you get out the most from when. You're not like to put yourself out of your comfort zone. Yeah, put yourself out of your comfort zone because you'll learn a lot more from that. Not put so much pressure on myself and you know, just like be open to anything that happens, living life in the moment. <laughs> it's okay to feel homesick at times. I feel like a lot of people come to college and they feel really homesick and then they get really confused like why am I here, like should I transfer and all this stuff and they give up but I would just say that like being homesick is like a very normal thing to experience and you just kind of have to like fight through it and get through it because you will get through it and everything like, will turn out okay. Be responsible. <laughs> Please be responsible. <laughs> Don't be stupid, like just have fun but within limits and don't make dumb decisions. Honestly, it's not worth it, and that's all I gotta say. I'd say it's okay to be scared because if you think about it, everyone is coming in, but you're gonna find your group and you're gonna find what you like, and it might not, like, it's not gonna be great at first, I guess. No. It's gonna no, be good. fun at first, but you're not really gonna find your people necessarily the first week of school. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's fun. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Story life is really fun. <laughs> and um, interesting. And um, not what you would expect, but in the best ways. Um, it's definitely different here because the app, like, it's very chill. People <laughs> love to stereotype sororities. Um, and I totally understand that because there are sorority girls um, 
that fit the stereotype 100%, but I think here at App it's a little bit different. Greek life is really chill here, but I really love it because I've really met people that are going to make me into a better person, and they've been here this past year for me through everything, and I'm really grateful for that. It's not what people make it seem, like, make it out to be. You really do meet your lifelong friends in this world. I feel like without, like, if I wasn't in a sorority here, like, I would be very unhappy. These sorority brought me my people, and it's just so much fun. It gives you your own little world. Like, it gives you purpose. Like, we always have something to do, like, something fun to do. We're always interacting. I'm a lot different than what I thought here. My expectations were a lot different. In reality, it was a lot better than what I expected. I never actually thought I'd make, like, close friends, but I did. Oh. For sure. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I love it. 100% yes. Hell yeah. I mean, like, it, it really opened me up to, like, meeting some people that, like, I definitely wouldn't have met before. I was telling Lolo this earlier, like, I probably wouldn't have met her if I didn't join Katie, and I'm just, like, so grateful for that because, like, I was very nervous about it, and then I chose to do it, and now I couldn't be happier. Aww. Yes, because it's not all about, like, making the friends itself is also making or doing community service and giving back. Actually here at Appalachian State, it's not very expensive because there's no houses, you can live in the APH. You literally meet all of your people. It's so amazing and so fun. Like I wouldn't know either of you without Capitalta and my life would be really sad about you. Oh, so, love you. <laughs> if I wasn't in a sorority right now, I don't know what I'd be like I would have nothing to do <laughs> So yeah. I don't want to say like my whole life is my sorority, but like it's, it's a, a big, big part. part of me, and like I have stuff outside of it, but like, it's it's a big part of me. Yes. Yeah. Not necessarily. Um, in the very beginning, it was hard adjusting. For me, no. However, classes-wise, no. Just because like I did, I took IV classes. However, like the lifestyle is so crazy. You're doing like. You know, like you already did your laundry at home, but like now you're really doing your own laundry, you're buying your food, like it is like really living on your own and like even the dorm life, like you're still like it's a new it's a new world for sure. I think the hardest part for me was coming to college in like the first semester really I didn't know what to do because I had so much free time. I went from going to school from 8 a.m. to 3.30 and then going to lacrosse practice or I would always have like a meeting for a club or a club event or something. Like I always was like had something to do and then when I came to college it was like, well, I don't have classes all day so there's a lot of time and then I wasn't in clubs like right off the bat so it was just like, that was just like really weird having so much free time and like not having my parents or friends. Um, but like, once you get adjusted to that, because you really have to like take that and do something about it. So I got involved in clubs and I made friends and everything turned out great. Because I'm outgoing and it was easy for me to make friends, but it is college is a lot harder than high school makes it out to be. Mm -hmm. The first month is really hard because you don't know anyone and you're like in this whole new world. like. And it's just really, really like high stress time. And I feel like as soon as I joined a sorority, I like finally like got that sense of community and like instantly made friends. So I was like, okay, like I have purpose and like I can have fun and like I have friends. Yeah, I can do it, like do whatever. So and being away from home because I'm from out of state was definitely hard. But besides that, you no, know, like school wasn't really too bad. I think next year I'm going to try to give more time for myself. I think freshman year you get really caught up and wrapped up in everything going on around you that you forget that like alone time is okay or just doing stuff for yourself or making sure you make time for yourself is really important so I'm going to try and change that. Next year I really want to start a Bible study for girls who are living in our sorority house because I think that would be just a super fun way for us to all bond. I'm going to study more. I am going to be more responsible and I would like to be more responsible. I want to be more involved on campus. I only live in the world of Kappa Delta and I need to expand my horizons and I really want to um, volunteer and join other clubs. And I also want to be a peer tutor. I want to be better like time managing things because I definitely prioritize some things over the other when I shouldn't have. One. Thank, Thank you, guys you guys for watching. <laughs> so I am a biochem major and <laughs>
think that fixes it. <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> My piece of advice would to say, okay. <laughs> My piece of advice would be, my piece of advice would be my piece my piece of advice would Am I allowed to cuss? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> Again, hold on. I'm not I should never be behind the camera, it's just wrong. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> do it, Madeline. Huzzah! Um hit that thumbs up. Wow. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> right here. In here. Click the bell notification. And if you want to see more videos, go to this section right here. I don't know how to do that. <laughs>